Hey, how's it going guys? It's Takrot with a new After Effects tutorial. So, for this tutorial I will be teaching you how to create rain in After Effects. So, rain is something actually very easy to make in After Effects, but uh, you'll be using a some kind of confusing slash hard program to make rain. So, let's start by opening up our After Effects and making a new composition with the default settings of course. Let's make a new sort layer and let's apply the effect CC particle world to that one, to that sort layer. So let's just drag it onto it. Then you get some kind of weird looking, weird looking, yeah, particles and positions, etc. So first off, what we'll be doing is we're going to go to grid and guys over here. And we're going to uncheck all those checkboxes over here. Alright. Let's close it back out. So we still only have our particles over here. So go through our uh, composition. You can see those are really weird particles. So I'll be explaining how this yeah, how this effect works. So over here we have birth rate. That's the amount and how many particles are created. So for now let's keep it back at 1. Um, over here we got longevity. That's yeah, something like a, uh, how long those particles should be displayed. So you can see. As you put it at 0 we can see nothing. If we put it at 0.33 we can see they are not going any farther. So let's keep it at 1 for the moment. Over here we've got producer. Producer is um, the position and the radius of your uh, yeah, of your particles and your animation. So position, if you go change the position, you can see uh, it's changing position. So you can see. Look, already some looks like rain for now. <laughs> um, but for now we're going to change those radius to 1, 1, and one. So it's something like this. Okay. Let's go to physics. You know physics, the law of physics. It's um, something really boring. But um, it's um, how those particles are animated in your project. So if you see that animation view, you can see explosive. We can see that those uh, particles are explosive coming in. We can change that to fire, so we have some kind of uh, yeah, fiery, spark, fiery sparks coming from the ground. That's very handy if you want to create a, yeah, a fiery scene, for example. But for now, let's uh, keep it at explosive. And we can see over here velocity. Velocity is the weight and is the weight of those uh, particles, how heavy they are coming in. Um, if we increase it, we can see it's coming to us, so it's it's pulling to us. If we decrease it to minus, we can see it's pulling away from us, so... Um, yeah. Something to keep in mind, so let's keep it at zero. The gravity is how heavy it, it um, falls down, so... For now it's going really fast, so if I put it at zero we can see they stay at the same place look like stars <laughs> um, if we go minus they go up but they go up really fast something like a galaxy for example you see over here <laughs> anyway so let's keep it at zero or, or one for now resistance is how fast those particles are moving so for now if we increase it we can see those particles are moving a little bit slower and are a little bit shorter than if I put it at zero as you can see okay those are settings are not important so let's go to particle particle is um, yeah those lines you see over here you can change those to for example, a star. You want some stars? There you go. You got some stars. You can got some shaded spheres, some bubbles. For example, you can make those blue, and you can put this underwater, and you have some cool bubbles underwater. <laughs> um, you can we can create some cubes. Also, that won't be 
you won't be using that really soon, that's my guess. But um, for now, let's keep it at line, because we'll, we'll be creating rain. And here, in here we can change those, um, we can change the texture, although we won't be doing that for line. Um, we can change the opacity, we can change the colors, and how those colors are displayed as well. Um, at like extra, we got some, yeah, some camera functions we um, and options we won't be using, but uh, are really something interesting to look into. Okay, so for now we'll be changing the color and the opacity of those uh, particles, so we can create our rain. So over here you can see color map. We're going to choose birth to origin, and we're going to change the birth color and let's make it light blue. So we are already looking some kind of future futuristic blue. Of course, rain isn't always blue, we can also make it white. But that would be boring, wouldn't it? Let's make it some... some yeah, something interesting. Okay. Of course, we can make it. Yeah, we can make it really in depth. Also, but we won't be doing that. Um, that will be necessary since the rain is falling really fast, and you won't be seeing the different kind of colors coming in. It might be interesting, for example, when you're working bubbles or spheres, but for rain, it's not really necessary. So max opacity, you know what opacity it is. Let's keep that one at 50%. Now we're going to mess, it, mess around with the physics of those of that rain. So we can see it's, yeah, it's falling really fast and it's not looking really realistic. So oh, let's make it twirl here. Um, I'm not sure what was it again. Oh yes, still explosive. So animation will be explosive, and the velocity. Let's see which one is the best. So it depends on which kind of scene you're using. So, if, so for example, you have someone looking up in the rain. Let's make the opacity 20. So it looks like someone is looking up in the rain, and those um, that rain is yeah coming onto them. That's one way of seeing it. So let's see if we decrease it. We can see it's nothing really important. So let's keep it. Sorry about that. Got interrupted. Anyway, so we can see that the yeah, that the rain is um, kind of annoying coming in. So let's keep it at around. Let's see one. One seventeen. The inert velocity, let's keep it at zero. The gravity, let's. It depends on you how you want your scene to be shown. So, the gravity, how fast the rain must go, or how slow the rain must go. So, let's keep it for this one at about 0 0.50. Of course, if you increase it, if you want it to be really fast, it will look not really good but yeah it's interesting <laughs> to see how it develops throughout those settings so let's keep it oh at 0 0.5 okay over here we got the resistance resistance resistant as I tell as I told before it's um it's messing around. That's how fast your uh, your rain is showing. So if I increase in gra gravity, and let's see here, resistance at about four, we can see it's coming in kind of differently, but better as well. <coughs> okay. So if I'm going to look at how everything is shown, if we change it around to animation. We can see there are still some interesting ways to for it to be shown. For example, you have direction axis over here. 
that way you can change direction of the rain so if I'm showing how to do that it will be really hard but you see the way the rain is falling Let's, uh, see the gravity of it Now you have to play around with the settings of course to really get the feel you want into your scene. That's one way of doing it. Um, oh, should, I shouldn't be touching that one. You can create some, yeah, some interesting ways to show rain falling but the best way is just to keep it explosive and keeping the velocity at about was it four yes four resistance at is one and the gravity at about yeah two no oh, this gravity at about yeah six and the resistance at 30 so for a good rain four six and a half oh i said six and a half and 65 cut poop uh, resistance 13 and extra zero okay so that really looks like some uh, interesting rain you see falling down here and um if we change with the long long activity if we uh increase it we can see yeah some nice fade out rain so long activity seconds to about 20 and the birth rates depends <laughs> on how many raindrops you want on your scene <laughs> anyway so that's uh, let's keep it at five for the moment or uh, let's make it two or one depending on your scene anyway that's uh, that's about it for how to create the rain if you want we can add some uh, some nice nice effects to it so an optical flare let's add, oh, let's add an optical flare to it first off let's make a salt layer put it underneath that so we have a black background to show that optical flare to it um, let's see here light da -da -da, blue blue spark should be fine uh, put it one around this way okay and so we're going to add in some blur is my guess so effects false blur blurriness C1 okay there we go and we just need to render it out and it will see and you got some perfect rain and yeah some lights it's really awesome to uh, really handle full tip so that's about it for uh, yeah for this tutorial so guys thank you for watching this tutorial uh, if you have any questions please ask I'll try to answer them as soon as possible um, for um, awesome music deep house and um, this, those chill step genres you really like check out my new channel source music uh, we upload every day it's a channel I maintain with my friends um, really check it out um, give us some feedback on it what we can improve give us some um, if you're an artist it's if you're your if you are an artist give us your music and we will upload it of course it has to be around that genre of deep housey etc so Go check that out and guys thank you for watching and hope this tutorial helps. Peace.